Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I don't look very comfy on this chair and that's because there's things in front of me. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my October favourites video for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to aim to do a favourites every single month. Uh, this month I've only actually got a few things. Usually I have so many things that I want to talk to you about. I don't want to make it too long because I don't want to bore you guys. You might actually not want to hear what I have been enjoying this month but if you do then carry on watching and you will find out so before i get started with the video i just want to say if you guys enjoy the video please 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 can you give it a massive thumbs up and if you're new here then please subscribe and don't forget to comment down below some of your favorite things that you found this month the first thing i want to talk to you guys well things i want to talk to you guys about are these beaut candles so they are the candle Berry Company. I don't know if it's Candleberry or Candlebury. Um, Candleberry Company, and they are so amazing. So I think they're like when I went to the shop to get some candles. I actually originally went in to the shop to get some Yankee candles because this place that I got them is my mum's friend's shop, and I was under the impression that they still sold all of Yankee candles candles. Uh, but they don't, they sell these now. And when I was in there, they told me that these guys are Yankee Candle's biggest competitors and that they are absolutely amazing. So I went around smelling a few and I found these two. This one is pomegranate. It smells so good. So, so good. Um, I was trying to find like wintry sort of smells uh, for over the winter months now. I don't want those summer smells, no flowers, no crushed lavender stuff. This one is red velvet cupcake. I had to pick this up, but as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, the candle is like two separate colors. So it's actually like a red velvet cupcake. So yeah, the candleberry, they are quite expensive. Well, actually they're not because they're good candles. They've got a really long burning time. They smell unreal. And it doesn't matter where in the room you are, you can actually smell the smell. It has an effect. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. Not the nail varnishes inside. I want to talk about the plastic thing that they're in. This is from Poundland, so obviously it cost a pound. And I bought a few, I bought three of them. Well, my mum bought me one and I bought two more because I love them. And I just had so many nail varnishes that I didn't know where to put them or what to do with them. So I filled one up already that's over there. And I'm on my way to filling this up with all my nail varnishes. It keeps them all in a really good place. You can see them all. Um, I really like them and they cost me a pound. And they are so cool for like decoration. I can now, I used to have to keep all of my nail varnishes in a drawer because there were too many of them to like set out on the side. But now I can have them out, I can see them all and they look really really cool in these little things a pound pound land don't miss it guys it's amazing the third thing i want to talk to you guys about isn't actually a thing well it is a thing but i'm not going to put it in the video i'm just going to talk about it in the video it's my gluten-free wheat-free bread that i've just started eating um i didn't think i would like it because i think things like that when they take like the stuff out can taste a bit like cardboard and I looked everywhere for a nice bread and I didn't like any of them and then I found this one in Asda and it's by a company called Genius and it's so good like literally I toast it for like a, like 30 seconds and it is so 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 nice I absolutely love it and obviously it's gluten free wheat free so I'm feeling a lot better when I'm eating things like sandwiches and eggs and beans on toast and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd throw that in because if any of you guys have any intolerances, Asda, Genius Bread, is really amazing. So my next favourite is this. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but Benefit has like stepped it up recently. They've taken on like a, this whole sophisticated like kind of... It's kind of like spy kind of stuff. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really cool. And on one side, you get the actual pencil that goes like that. And it's in the shape of how you do your brow, which is really, really good. On the other side, hold on. You got the eye brow brush thing that's really good. So I am absolutely loving this at the moment. And I can't wait to use some of Benefit's new oh, products um, even more because I think they've done amazing. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is 
this beautiful dress from Topshop. Um, I went to an engagement party last night, so the day before, I had to go and get an outfit, obviously. Um, some of you guys might have seen that on my Instagram or my Twitter or whatever. Actually, I'm going to keep that in. Um, the outfit that I actually wore. But I also tried on this dress. I just felt like it was a little bit too Christmassy to wear last night. But I still bought it anyway because I think it's fabulous. It's very... The only thing I would say is it's quite figure hugging, so I probably won't wear it until I've got my body in a shape that I'm really happy with. And it's all glittery and sparkly, and I just need to find somewhere to wear it now because it's so beautiful. And it was £35. I think that is really, really amazing for Topshop because their prices have rocketed up recently. Yeah, I absolutely love it. For £35, quid, I really think I did well there. So, well done, me. And I'm not gonna bore you guys much longer. I just wanna talk to you about one more thing of this month. Actually, the last few months. These bad boys. So, I didn't actually see these. Connor spotted these out in Topshop while I was shopping. And they are, I don't really know what color they are. They're kind of like a gray, lilac-y, bluey color. And they are really, really super cute, soft leather boots. Um, I had to buy them the size up to what I usually am because they are such soft leather. You could see the outline of my toes um, when I was wearing them. So I bought them in a six instead of a five. I love them. I, like, I actually fell in love with them. They're so sophisticated. And I don't usually wear shoes like this, but I want to start because I do love this style so much. I mean, they were 70 pounds, which was quite expensive. Um, and I don't think I've ever bought a pair of shoes worth £70 unless they're trainers. But I love them. I wanted them. I work hard to buy stuff like this. And that's what I got. It sounds like I'm trying to justify it to myself. Um, and maybe I am a little bit. But they're just so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you liked all of my favourites for this month because I can tell you now I definitely did um, yeah like I said don't forget to comment like, subscribe, share tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your dog tell your pumpkins just tell everyone about the video and I will see you guys on Tuesday bye